Howdy everybody, welcome back to another video from Beer Times with Scott. Today's video, I'm going to give you a very honest, real, and thorough review and opinion of a company who's brand new to the bearding game. I'm filming this video April 30th, 2023, and will be uploaded by tomorrow, which is May 1st of 2023. Today we're going to be talking about Grindstone Grooming Company. The website is grindstonegrooming.com. They're also on Instagram. They also have a YouTube page. Before we get into the company, just got to get a little bit of a backstory. The company is owned by a guy named Daniel. If you don't know who he is, he's had a YouTube channel for years. His channel was Daniel the Bearded Apprentice. It changed to Daniel the Bearded. He ran a YouTube channel for, I'd say, about three or four years, maybe even longer. He was doing product reviews, just like I am right now. His quality and his picture got a lot better. His on-camera personality changed. I think he was a little bit nervous in the beginning. But here's the sad story about it. As we all are in the bearding community, I fell into the trap, like most of you have if you're watching this video. You're probably looking at me, what trap are you talking about? The infamous drama trap that's in our bearding community, and I use that term very loosely. You know how jealousy goes. You know how people want to run their mouth about nothing, about nothing. Literally, you're running your mouth about someone making a video about facial hair that you can lose in a matter of five minutes. Daniel was hustling. He was working his ass off. And the sad thing is, I was told by some of you people who watch my channel and I interact with to block him He's a rude guy, all this and that and this and that. At that time frame, I was one of the big voices of the bearding community. And I said, I don't want any part of this guy. I didn't even know him. Never watched him. Never spoke to him. Blocked him. That was until about two, three months ago. No joke. When I said, you know, I went through all my settings on Instagram. And I said, who, do I, who, do, who are these people that I don't follow or who I block? He was one of them unblocked him completely didn't even know who he was started watching his videos i thought he was a decent reviewer just being honest not saying he's the greatest thing in the world or whatever he's a really good reviewer i thought he was so i'm going to say this on camera and i'm saying i said it to him yesterday i apologize for that daniel i really do because i think you and i would have had a decent relationship in the in the past few years and i just listened to that what someone had said and didn't talk to you just because of what someone said. And I apologize for that. That really does kind of hurt. Really does. Okay. So let's get that shit out of the way, okay? Daniel was a reviewer. He ran overtime. And his nickname was DTV. And he also called him the Reverend on his uh, live streams and such. I've been watching his reviews. And he did a fantastic job. He really did. He worked with a lot of companies. He bought a lot of his products. If you don't know... Daniel was a construction worker of some sort. He builds homes, houses. I don't know exactly what he builds, but he's always on his Instagram talking about blue collar work, putting in the effort. I mean, really working your ass off. And I don't know why he did this, but he decided he was going to make his own grooming products and make a company. Grindstone Grooming. Here they are. Before we go any further, because I know everyone's going to ask, you can buy these on his website, grindstonegrooming.com. This hat is $26, $25. You can get it in black and white or just all black. He has a logoed t-shirt, which is this right here. And that is $26, the logo tee. And he calls this one the Reaper tee. And this one's $30. This one's a little more expensive. And I know why. It's because there's multi-colors multi in it. More fancy schmancy design. If you have merch or you sell merch or make merch, you know exactly what I'm talking about. These things cost more. Don't bitch at him. That's usually how it works. All these are printed pretty much on demand. So when you order them, it'll take you about 10 days to get them because they're coming straight from the person who makes them. So don't give him any kind of crap. If you're waiting for your merchandise, you're going to get it. He also has stickers made in this Reaper logo. I want to get some of those from him because I'm a big sticker collector. That's the merch. He has beard oils. He has beard butters. And he has bar soaps as well grindstone grooming so let's go ahead and get into this before we go any further into this review i want to clarify 
that this is not a paid review. This is not a sponsored review. The products were not sent to me to review for free. I paid for all of these myself. And I am the very first customer of Grindstone Grooming. I'm proud to say that. That's really cool to say in the bearding game. Hey, I was your first customer, man. He was on his live stream March 3rd with uh, Dan Nave, also known as Beard of the North. He lost a little bit of internet from time to time because he has the uh, satellite internet where he's from in Indiana. So it was kind of sketchy. I was watching it because I was like, okay, this guy, is he's got balls. Being honest with you guys, this is a ballsy move to a guy who's just sitting in front of a camera like I am talking to you guys and telling his opinions about beard care products and men's grooming products as well and also holding live streams and keeping your attention and keeping you entertained. And then all of a sudden he goes, I want to make my own company. That's a ballsy move. To my knowledge, there's been one person that that actually made that change. There may have been more, but I know one for sure. And that guy, which we won't uh, talk his say names because he's another company. That guy's doing fairly pretty damn well. Daniel's just starting. I don't know how many orders he's put out in the past two months. Doesn't matter. He's doing it. Let's get into the products. Today we're going to talk about five beard oils, one beard butter, two bars of soap, and a sample. We'll go ahead and get into the sample because this product actually was a seasonal limited edition scent. I do not have the actual bottle to show you. I actually bought the sample from Daniel and they come in, they came in this little container right here. I got two of them and these are not for sale. He actually just sold it to me because I wanted a sample of it because he, at the time he was offering a sample if you made a purchase before he released it. This is pipe layer. It's no longer available to my knowledge as of this recording of the video. He may make it sooner or later down the road. Aquatic driftwood, smoky oud, ambergris, pepperwood, powdery violet, sandalwood, cedar, and amber is the scent profile of this. Let's go ahead and get to the ingredients of all the beard oils while we're talking about it. That is absinian oil, hemp seed oil, meadow foam seed oil, argan oil, castor oil, and a fragrance or essential oils for the scent. That is for all of the beard oils. For the beard butter, we have sow butter, mango butter, and the absinian oil, hemp seed oil, meadow foam seed oil, argan oil, castor oil, and fragrance and essential oils for the scent. Those are the ingredients of the beard butter and the beard oil. The ingredients, I have no reason to argue or complain about any of these. These are very common beard oils and ingredients in the, in the game now. I see these pretty much everywhere for the most part. The ones, the two that stand out the most to me are the obsidian oil. I don't know what it is about that oil, but it works really good for my beard. I'm pretty sure this is one of them that helps the absorption factor for into my skin very, very well. And the sow butter which is a really, really good butter. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong because I don't know all the science about that. That's for someone else's channel. I think the sow butter is almost like a substitution for the shea butter or cocoa butter, one or both, I'm not sure. And the, any product I've ever used with sow butter works really well for me as well. So the pricing for a one ounce beard oil is $20, even 1999 for a two ounce tub of his butter is $20 as well for his true grit soap which I did not try which is a hand soap only I'll think of the uh orange soap like lava soap that's what it remind reminds me of that one is $7.99 he has a beard and body soap which he calls payday which was $8.99 and he has a pine tar soap which he calls the demolition bar which is $8.99 so pricing you're, put, you're, playing, you're paying pretty much for, as we all know, in 2023, the inflation of everything is absolutely ridiculous and out of our control. $20 is pretty much now the standard price for me, in my opinion, of a one ounce beard oil. $20, not expensive by any means. For a beard butter as well, same thing. They're, they're about, that's what you're paying for. $8.99 and $7.99 for a bar of soap. I don't use bar soaps that you can buy in stores, such as Guile, Zest. I don't even remember the names of them anymore because I don't use them. I don't buy those. I don't use them. I use 
soaps handmade from small companies like this. Just to clarify, Daniel is not making them these himself. He's sourcing them from someone and selling them to you guys. And I have no problem with that whatsoever. This stuff works. They work for me very, very well. Okay, back to the scents pipe layer. Pipe layer, when I smelled it, because the name just sounds funny. Pipe layer, the names of all of his scents, they mean something to him and they have a representation of grindstone, working your ass off, hard work pays off, that type of theme, I guess. The name of the company, I really enjoy. I think it just, it fits Daniel's personality 100%. Pipe layer to me is a floral, sweet cologne. I know there's some oud in here because the, the oud is, I can smell it immediately. The driftwood and the oud, I smell right up front. I smell floral. I don't smell any of the cedar and sandalwood. It's a really, really good scent. <laughs> I remember watching his videos when he said, someone said, this if this doesn't get you laid, there's something wrong with you. This is a really good scent. Women are going to love this. My wife, Mandy, she loved this as well. It's really good. I wish you guys could still pick it up. He did really good with this one. I was proud of this one. This one, as you can see, I think this was a three milliliter um, sample here. I actually bought two of them. I have another one. So I have a little bit to go before, I, before I'm out of it. I like this one. Really, really good scent. What I did for the next scent that I, that I tried was the foundation. The foundation is his unscented. So this is literally no scent whatsoever. It's the meat and potatoes of the of the carrier of the brand. And like I said, I did something different before we go any further. Let's look here. Taking a look at the branding and labeling of this. Hopefully you can see that it's in a frosted, clear, one ounce bottle. The labeling is superior. The, the graphic design on this is really nice. I like how this grindstone GS logo, you can see it here. It's a little, it's more written. This was more symbolic really nice and he gives you a little bit of a description for all of them natural no scent added i mean to the point i don't smell anything of any kind when i open this up you are not going to smell anything maybe just the ingredients if you're really good at smelling ingredients good for you i can't smell anything out of this at all what i did when i use this which i don't really do a lot anymore i actually just use cologne with this so it worked very well i said oh i can still smell something this worked very well for me. No complaints. If you want an unscented, right here, right here. Really good. We're going to go from my least favorite all the way to my favorites. Pipe layer I went over first because you can't get it anymore, unfortunately. The one that I did not like at all is Busted Knuckle. This is a dark, smoldy, and bold type of scent. Busted Knuckle has some leather in here. I don't know what all is in every single scent profile. I'm only telling you what I smell. Busted Knuckle is a musky and a leather forward scent. I did not like this at all. And, that, and the scent is subjective. Not saying anything negative towards the company or Daniel. This scent, I can do without. I, I used this honestly two times. Was not a fan of this one. The scent, just it doesn't do anything for me. It's not my cup of tea. But if you're a musky and a leathery fan i would recommend this to you it's just not my specialty or favorite at all was not impressed with that one that's okay smooth operator this one he calls it warm rich and inviting this i smell a little bit of like orange or mandarin and there's some tobacco vanilla in here and something that he calls yuzu i'm not familiar with that it's the first time i've ever smelled anything with yuzu in it to me, I think it's more of like a bitter, sweet type of scent. I think that's what the yuzus bring into it. It's good. To me, it smells like a citrusy tobacco vanilla, which is good. It's a good scent. I use this, I don't know exactly how many times I wore these guys. I've worn these for 30 days. As you can see, the bottles were filled to the rim. Really, really good scent. If you're into tobacco scents and you want a little bit of a citrusy, springy type scent, this is going to be for you. I liked it. I recommend it to you. My third favorite, or second favorite, excuse me, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. He calls this fresh citrus and woods. And I think I have it here. Blood, Sweat, and Tears. He calls citrusy, aromatic, fresh, spicy, and woodsy. When I smell this, 
I smell a mandarin and a lime mixed together. Something that's zesty. It could be them two together. And I smell a little bit of a mint background in the back. When this starts to dry down a little bit, I'm smelling a little bit of a mint. This is good. Very fresh. Very springy, summery scent for sure. This is a scent that you're going to let. It'll last. You'll get different vibes throughout the day when you're smelling this. I really enjoyed this one. This one, I think, uh, this one, I think, lasted the longest for me in scent. My favorite, my favorite, my favorite scent that Grindstone Grooming has made so far, Slick Finish. And unfortunately, the thing that really sucks, Daniel sent me, when I received my package, I, I did not receive a um, the Blood, Sweat, and Tears. He sent me two Slick Finishes. That's okay. He sent me literally the replacement in a matter of days. I could not have cared less the man that... You know, it, he just opened up. Things are going to happen. So when those things happen to you guys, let it, let it, let it fly. It's not that big of a deal. It really isn't. The company will make it right one way, shape, or form. Slick Finish. I, he actually sent me two bottles of this, and I sent one of them out because I had two bottles. I really wish I would have kept this now. This is the best scent he makes. This is just my opinion. He calls it Woodsy Fresh Clean Musk Cologne. That's exactly what this is. You get a fresh, clean, cologne-esque type scent right up front. And I smell the woodsy on the on the back end. But here's the awesome part about it. I'm a huge, huge fan and lover of cedar wood. I smell the cedar wood all day long, all night long. This, actually, take that back. This was the longest lasting scent for me. I smelled this from 5 in the morning till the time I went to bed at 9, 10 o'clock at night. This was the longest lasting scent for me. I really, really enjoy this scent. Highly recommend it. Very solid two thumbs up for the scents. And once again, not a fan of Busted Knuckle, but it's just not my favorite or cup of tea. I'm sure someone in this world would like to try it. Give it a try. It just wasn't for me. Let's go to the, well, before we go to the butter, the viscosity on this, I'd say, is a very light to medium in thickness. So it's not going to coat your beard per se and be heavy in the beard. It's got that very little bit of a yellowish hue to it. Very little. Again, this, it does it absorbs in my beard the fastest. Saying it on camera right now, this is the fastest absorbing beard oil that I've ever put on my body, in my skin, on my skin or in my beard. This is the one that absorbs the fastest. Just saying. And if that says it means anything to you guys, give it a try. Very solid two thumbs up for the beard oils and how they've worked for me. Highly recommend them. The beard butter I have in Blood, Sweat, and Tears. This is in a two ounce. Actually, I think this is a little bit more than two ounces. I'm not 100% sure. But I have I think this is between a two and a three. That's just how it looks to me. I could be totally wrong. The scent is in Blood, Sweat, and Tears. It's pretty much equal in how strong it is to the beard oil, or to the beard, butter, beard oil and butter. They're about the same. When you look at it, take a look. It looks like it's not made very well. Honestly, that's how I received it. It looks a little bit grainy. But I will tell you, you put this, dish out what you need, break it down, and, and emulsify it. This goes away. It literally, it's almost as if it, you look at it, you think there's something wrong. There's nothing wrong with it at all. It works really, really well. This absorbed just as equally as fast into my beard and hair as the beard oil did. I actually use this for a body butter as well. I put it on my ashy elbows. As we all know, we have that all the time. This is a really, really good beard butter. I use this pretty much for night times because the beard oil did its job 100%. I use this a couple times throughout the month because it got a little bit colder and I wanted a little bit more protection. This is a really good beard butter. It's going to go a long way for you. When I use this, I don't even want to waste it, but I will. This is all I've used right there. That's it. That's all I've used on a daily basis. So I'm going to go ahead and just melt this down. I'm going to rub it in to my skin. on camera and I can feel it working on I had a little bit of a dry right here on my elbow it's working very well I can feel it absorbing into my skin immediately that's awesome 
Now, take a look at my hands. There's a little bit of a shine. That's okay. I don't really feel it on my skin. That's the awesome part. The product you can see is there, but it's not... My skin took it in very well. It's not as if it's just laying there. That's impressive to me. One of the best beard butters I've ever used in my bearding journey. Very solid two thumbs up. Now, we're getting to the shower products, which I call the cleaning products. I do not have the True Grit Soap. I didn't get to get that. That was the hand soap, and you use that only for your hands. Don't put it in your beard. That's what uh, it says on the on the uh, website. That's what Daniel told me, so do not use that. I had the Payday Body Soap, and that one I actually don't have. I use it in its entirety. It lasted me about 12 days. Before you say anything, my wife and I used it at the same time. When I get a new soap, Mandy tries the soap as well. So it lasted us 12 days. That's okay. Don't have a problem with that. The ingredients are olive oil, soybean oil, coconut oil, canola oil, sunflower oil, organic shea butter, water, sodium hydroxide or lye, ground oatmeal, and fragrance for the Payday Body Soap. It came in a plastic or a padded little envelope here. There's the label for it. I have no problem with how he sent this to me. It worked. It did its job very well. It has like a, let me see how, what does he describe this as? A sweet musk, floral, earthy undertone. To me, this smelled just like a citrusy, spicy little bit of a scent. It worked really well. What more can I say about it? Now, the Demolition Bar, which is his take on a pine tar soap. The ingredients are the same, except for in, in the, uh, the Demolition Bar, he has a little bit of a citrus in it. This is the best smelling pine tar soap bar I've ever used, hands down. Pine tar soap does not smell good at all. Most people hate it. It works phenomenal. When I use this, honestly, both beer, both bars in my beard, one, two, three passes under the water, soaked and saturated my beard 100%. Can't say anything bad about that at all. This stuff made my beard feel squeaky clean, I will recommend if you use this pine tar soap bar, you will need a good conditioning beard butter, which he sells for you. I would recommend if you use a if you use pine tar soap, put some beard butter and beard oil in your beard after you're finished for your routine. It will make your beard feel really good. It re re rejuvenates your beard, squeaky clean, fresh start. Can't say anything negative about this by any means. Some of the best soaps I've ever used in my bearding journey for like five, six years now. Very, very solid two thumbs up for the beard beard soaps here. So what do I think about this company? 100%, I'm impressed. I'm very, very impressed with what Daniel is bringing to the table. I really do mean that. This guy, is take, he took a big chance in life or a big risk in life. Make you just sitting in front of a camera and now he's making products to sell to the world. That's a big, bold step. Really, really is. I think he's doing a great job. I really do. The branding on here, the packaging fits the name, fits the owner, fits everything that I see here. The pricing, I can't say anything negative about the pricing of anything here at all. The performance, the best Absorbing beard oil I've ever used, hands down. The probably one or two best absorbing and working beard butter I've ever used. The soaps, cannot say anything negative about these once again. Would I recommend this company? 100%. I'm very proud of Grindstone Grooming. And just, Daniel, any advice to you? Keep doing what you're doing, man. Honestly. Your motto has always been, it's time to clock in, let's go to work. Yeah, you really are doing the work, man. Great job. Very solid two, some, two thumbs up. Five-star beer times with Scott rating. Five out of five, man. You can't beat that for a brand new company. Not kissing his ass. Being honest with you guys right here on camera. So that's going to conclude my review of Grindstone Grooming. Thank you for making the products, Daniel. Thank you for sending them to me. And everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, keep on bearding, and I'll see you guys soon. Before we go, before we go, I forgot all about this. If you're watching this video as I'm posting it, this coming Wednesday, 
May 8th, 2023 at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On this YouTube channel, Daniel will be in the hot seat. That's my, that's my interview session where I interview a lot of people in the bearding world. We get together, we have chats, and I put them in a speed round. You never know what I'm going to ask, but I guarantee you're going to have a good time watching. I hope to see you all here. Once again, keep on bearding. See you soon.